the flat finishing strategy is designed to give you higher efficiency when it comes to finishing flat regions of your design. This example is a three axis part. I've used a 3D adaptive strategy to remove most of the material. Now, I'll create a flat finish toolpath to machine the flat surfaces. The default settings made a good toolpath, but I'd like to make a few adjustments. First, I'll check the box for finishing pass. This adds a pass just before the final step over. Next, I'll check the box for machine over holes. This generates a toolpath over holes without the need to patch surfaces. Finally, I'll set the retraction policy to minimum retraction. This moves straight up to the lowest height where the tool clears the work pieces plus any specified safe distance. The next example is a 3 plus 2 axis part. Once again, I've used a 3D adaptive strategy to remove most of the material. Now, I'll create a flat finish toolpath to machine some of the surfaces with a parallel strategy. Avoid touch surfaces may be selected. I'm going to set the mode to touch and then select the surfaces that I want the toolpath to cut. For this toolpath, I'm going to select a parallel strategy. The parallel strategy is useful for machining simpler geometry, such as long, rectangular regions. I will check the box for machine inclined flats. This allows the toolpath to machine flat regions that are inclined with respect to the tool axis. Finally, I'll set the retraction policy to minimum retraction, and I will check the box for machine over holes. Next, I'll make one more flat finishing toolpath to finish the remaining surfaces with a pocket strategy. The pocket strategy is useful for machining more complex geometry such as multiple circular regions. The next time you are machining flat surfaces, give the flat finishing toolpath strategy a try.